Hello, this is Paul, and this video will explain my book, The Piano Tab Method. I wrote this to cover piano technique for those who can and can't read music. Do not be intimidated by the amount of content in this book. This could be years of work, so I suggest you make your own goals and take what you want from these exercises. The purpose of this video is to show exactly what this book offers. So here we go. This book strictly deals with piano technique with standard notation and my tab method. You must follow the fingering exactly in order to get the most out of these exercises. The first part is scales. I deal with each key individually. C major is our first key and I've made a table that shows the proper fingering of the scale. Let's start with our right hand. C is the first note with one. D with two, E with three. We then move our first finger again with F. I indicate a change of positions with circles. G is a two, A is three, B is four, and five is C. We then move down the scale with fingerings of five, four, three, two, one, three, two, and ending on one. The left hand mirrors the right hand with five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, and descending with two, three, one, two, three, four, and five. The next step is to put these hands together like so. This is a two octave scale, and this can also be used for four octaves. I should explain how my shorthand on increasing the octaves work. The darkened sections are repeats, and you will play them over depending how many octaves you want to play. Let's use our two octave scale as an example. Here we play the first octave, then we play the darkened section three times. Once we have reached the top, we then descend one octave, Repeat the darkened section three times. And then end on the last note. I will quickly play through all the rest of the exercises. Here is a C major scale separated by a third. Here is a completed four octaves. By a six. And the formula pattern. The next section are triads. I have constructed a different type of table because you need to play more than one note at a time. The notes in C major root position triad are C, E, and G. The left hand fingering from the bottom to top is five, three, one. And the right hand fingering is one, three, five. You invert the triad, which means you take the bottom note and put it on top, and this gives us a new position. The circle note in chords have a little different meaning than in scales. When we play these chords, we always use the one and five fingers on the top and bottom, and what changes are the middle two and three. 
The circles indicate a second finger, and the rest are the third finger. Here's the solid triads. Here are the broken triads. Tonic four note form solid. And broken. Alternate four note form. And triad arpeggios. The last part of the C major scale exercises are dominant sevens. Dominant sevens start in the fifth degree of the major scale. Here they are solid and broken. Dominant sevenths alternate note pattern. And dominant sevenths arpeggios. C minor scale. This is a little different than the major scales in that we play three different types of minors. This includes the natural, the harmonic, and the melodic minor scale. If you are interested in learning how they are constructed, go to my tutorial minor scales and it will be explained there. We start with the natural minor scale, one octave. Two octaves. Here is the harmonic minor scale. Melodic minor scale. The last part of the minor scales is the formula pattern using the harmonic minor scale.
The next section is solid and broken triads. The solid triads. Here are the broken triads. Tonic four note solid. And broken. Alternate note pattern. Triad arpeggios. Last part of the minor technique are diminished sevenths. As mentioned earlier, dominant sevenths start in the seventh degree of the major scale. With minors, we use the diminished sevenths, and those start on the seventh degree of minor scales. Here they are, solid, and broken. Diminished sevenths alternate note pattern. Finally, the diminished seventh arpeggio. That finishes C major and minor technique. There are 12 major and 12 minor keys to complete all keys, and this book contains them all. Once again, do not be intimidated by the amount. Just do a little bit and slowly build your knowledge. This could take years to complete, so it's important to just keep a slow and steady pace and use whatever exercises you think are important. I wish you my best in your music education journey and hope this book helps you in progressing in your piano technique.